the problem with having multiple devices stopping you from seeing all the buttons. What about now, Luke? Got Luke on Instagram sorting me out. Hello, Lizzie. How are you? Um, in fact, if I press this button, I think I can wave at you. Mwah! Right. Is this working now? I've got another computer here going on. Oh, I don't think I am. Oh, man. If you're on Facebook, can you let me know if... I am not surprised, Lizzie, to hear that about anxiety through the roof. Oh, I am. Aha! Right. Let us quickly share this so we know what's going on. Share. Right. And we can get through this. Hello, Tom. How are you? But sending anxiety through the roof. No, but sending love. Um, I hope that you are doing your best. And I saw earlier that you're unlikely to do the thing with Technicolor. I think if you can, potentially do it, but without showing your face, just to be surrounded by voices that, that you're used to. Um, International Day of Happiness. Tick, tick, tick. Show all and host. I am here. Hello. Um, so I've looked at this one and I've mentioned it in a International Day of Happiness slant because it is International Day of Happiness. Let's meet you. Um, and just because of what's going on around us, I don't think that that should, um, should get in the way of the happiness that we feel. However, if you look back on my uh, Hello Tom Die Facebook page, you'll see that I shared the information from the Happiness Trap. Um, they've made their app available um, for, um, for, for free for three months, which is brilliant. Uh, if you need resources or you need guidance or you need anything to, to help you out during these trying times. Um, I've done this a little bit early and a little bit off the cuff because there's things that I want to do this evening. Um, sort my life out <laughs> is the, the fundamental of it. Um, and I am here to yeah use that hashtag, International Day of Happiness, um, and th think about hints and tips as to how we can maintain happy, I suppose happy um, during what we're going through and a lot of it is to do with what I'm wearing now and it's to do with acceptance and that is why the happiness trap um, app is such a beneficial resource I think in these trying times because the happiness trap is that we believe that we should be happy um, all of the time and we are not designed to be all of the time and in times like this um, we're gonna find that really really difficult to maintain that so what can we do about trying to maintain happy, keep our spirits high during these times when we don't really feel like it? Particularly those based on the government announcement that's just happened where socialising in mass groups, going to the pub, going to the gym are fundamental parts of what makes us happy. If we can no longer do the things that we defaulted back to, what on earth are we going to do going forward? Um, so we need to accept the situation first and foremost. Um, we need to think about why we are in the situation that we're in and the situation has been imposed on us as well. And that's really important for trying to figure out a way out of how you might be feeling. There's going to be annoyance, there's going to be frustration that, um, well, as the Prime Minister said, that our um, right to go down the pub has just been taken away from us um, through sanctions and that's not that's not a great thing is it um, so we need to accept that situation I mentioned yesterday in that video about values and about um, committing to different values and how important that is when we're in these times because the value that we are showing by saying socially distant by keeping out of the pubs and the mass gatherings um, is we're actually helping our we're helping each other out we're helping out the health service we're helping out the um yeah the health service we're helping out our neighbors we're helping out all of everyone around us by not putting ourselves in a situation which is spreading the disease and overbearing 
the, the, the health service. I saw a brilliant post on Facebook earlier, uh, which was relating to the the panic buying in, 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 in the shops, in the supermarkets. And someone has simply said, you know when all this broke out and there were there was nothing left on the shelves, um, that is what being part of mass gatherings is going to do to the NHS. But instead of there being no bread or milk, there's going to be no beds and medical equipment and staff to look after you. Um, so that is why we're doing this. So there's an acceptance of the situation. Hello, hello, hello. Um, an acceptance of the situation and a commitment to think about I'm in this situation because I'm helping the wider the, the wider world around me, my friends and neighbours who I've never really met before. But International Happiness Day, I want to link in with this because it's really important that we don't just now wallow. Because as much as our emotions fluctuate and they go up and down, which is what I've talked about, so I'm TikToking down with the kids. Um, the um, happiness is something that we that we cling on to sometimes too tightly, and the issue with clinging too tightly to happiness is that when we're not happy we beat ourselves up and that becomes an issue because it's a self-fulfilling cycle and that's why the happiness trap that book is so important because it goes into looking at this perpetual search for happiness actually drives us down this spiral as to into unhappiness because we can't find the happiness and then we're frustrated that we can't find the happiness so we do things that are outside of our comfort zone or um, beyond our remit as individuals that make us think Oh, well, if I'm not happy, I'm not supposed to be. Um, whereas the happiness trap talks about the acceptance of feelings, negative feelings. And it's going to be times over the coming days and weeks, particularly now we've got our first kind of proper weekend of being socially distant and not having mass gatherings and things like that, where it's going to be a real struggle for some people. Um, there were kind of memes going around about... Um, uh, Introverts have been preparing for this their whole life. I kind of sit on the fence with that, with those kind of things of being introvert and extrovert. Um, so hopefully, I will cope with and deal with this quite well. I did go for a fifteen-minute walk earlier on my lunch break because uh, I'm also still working, working from home. Um, and it was finding happiness in those smaller moments. And I think that's probably the biggest change that's going to happen to a lot of people is it's making the most of those small moments and having an appreciation for the fact that you are here, that you are well, that you are able to support others. Um, and really um, honing in on the smaller bits and being a bit more mindful and realising and reminding yourself regularly as to why we're in the situation in the first place and how your actions, your responsible actions, are going to help people going forward, uh, particularly in the NHS and particularly those that are vulnerable. That, that's why all this is happening. So. If you have books, if you have films, if you have board games, if you are socially distant with your family and with friends or whoever is in your house with you at the moment, make the most of the time with them. Rian, I have no doubt that you're going to miss going to the pub. Um, bring the pub to you. Um, I know a few people that are doing virtual um virtual pub where they're all going to FaceTime each other and they're all going to um, yeah they're, they're going to FaceTime each other they're going to have a group call they're going to be in a group chat or whatever and they're all going to have a drink at the same time um, a solicitor's firm I can't remember where it was um, but they all agreed they've they've all got mass messaging and they've all been saying um, right we'll meet at six and that's what they're doing so they're still getting that social contact up it's still a small little group of them they're going to be having their drink they're going to be enjoying their time and they're going to be doing it responsibly. Um, it's not working tea. No. Oh, that's odd. You want us to comment on it? I can see my. I can see me moving. Um, I hope it does work. Well, if it doesn't work now, hopefully you'll pick it up on the um, uh, on on the replay because I share it as a post anyway. Uh, but where was I? I was talking about enjoying those little things and. For those with child responsibilities, although the key worker list is huge, so the, the schools are going to still be 
I'm not going to be busy by any stretch of the imagination, but they're still going to um, be people working there because people still need to do those um, fundamental functions of looking after the human beings, uh, care workers, and making sure that our shops are still full because they're not going to be shut, contrary to what was mentioned earlier. Um, so when you're out and about, um, if you're feeling sad or angry or upset, acknowledge those feelings, that's really important. Um, International Day of Happiness is great because it reminds us that we're all capable of being happy and that's really important. However, International Day of Happiness is not about we should be happy all of the time. And these circumstances are a massive highlight of that where we are, or some of us might be feeling very fearful, we might be very afraid. We don't have to be happy all of the time. We need to have a period of nothing. That should be our default state. We are existing and then we have periods that dip where we become upset and we become angry and fearful and then we actually I'm actually popping to the pub now for a last hurrah remind me not to spend any time next year over the next 14 days stay two meters away from each other um air toast is the only advice I can give to you um be safe stay um what is it stay stay safe stay distant stay in contact that's what I've been telling uh, all my friends um and oh, I've actually forgotten where I was, I was complimented on this yesterday. Um, so, oh, where was I? That's right, yeah, we should all be at a level playing field. Um, we'll have dips in our emotions and our moods, we'll have spikes in our emotions and our moods. And that is, that's human nature. Um, and it's that kind of, that middle bit. So International Day of Happiness isn't about, we should all be happy all of the time because these circumstances um, have reminded us that that is not possible. We cannot be happy all of the time. Um, there's a lot of fear, anxiety, there's death, um, which I'm, I have been asked to talk about, um, but I'll be talking about that in another video, um, because it's International Day of Happiness. I don't need to somber the mood too much. Um, I'll save that for another day. Um, and one thing that uh, Liz has done on Twitter, Liz Keach one she has compiled a list of photographs um, from the last couple of weeks, which is lovely. And um, so use this time to go back through photo albums to, to remember the things that, that you've done and actually be really grateful for them. And I have that feeling of, I want to embark on memories like this in the future with the people who I love and the people who, yeah, who I am extremely grateful for and the people I want to spend more time with. Um, that is a wonderful thing to come out of all of this that hopefully people are realizing who they are what's important to them um, and for people like me who wants to kind of help people on an ongoing basis anyway and the reason why I emblaze and I accept on my hoodie um, is that other people are realizing that acceptance of circumstances and resilience um, are things that are actually innate with us um, and I know that I mentioned early, earlier about Lizzie and her overwhelming anxiety that is understandable. She's currently in, in isolation, um, which means no no um, outside contact at all. Um, talking of isolation, social distancing, there was a little bit of confusion about it. Um, the government website's really uh, good on it. I've just touched my face. Oh. Um, about the, the difference between it. And because I was a bit confused by it, I'm just going to tell you now, if you have a persistent cough, which apparently is half a day, you need to isolate for seven days days. If you live in a house with other people, they need to isolate for 14 days. That means not leaving the house whatsoever. If you have a persistent cough or you live with some of the persistent cough or fever, any of the, the symptoms that they're saying, um, hello Andrew, um, then do not leave your house. Have food delivered to you. You cannot go anywhere because you are coughing um, and your relatives and also in the house, cannot go anywhere either. Um, after the seven days for the person that had the symptoms, they can leave, but be socially distant. For the other people who might still not have any symptoms or very mild symptoms, they still cannot go anywhere for another seven days. Now, once everyone in the household has gone through 14 days, they can still, they can now leave the house and become socially distant unless you have symptoms, the cough and the fever and the other symptoms um, during that 14 day period, in which case the person with the symptoms then has to stay indoors for seven days, it's like isolated. However, 
the other people who aren't showing symptoms, um, the 14 day period does not start again. Um, so I thought that was really interesting because I was a bit confused about it before. Um, when on my walk earlier, I felt guilty for being outside, um, which is silly, but as long as we keep distant and we don't mass gather, and I know it's inevitable, it's going to happen, people are going to go out for one last hurrah, Rian, here's my toast to you, um, don't come near me or anyone else, um, it's, 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 there might well be a huge spike in, uh, in hospital admissions over the next 7 to 14 days as a result based on and that's on top of people who are not being socially distant anyway uh, so that's going to be quite a sad state of affairs for anyone that's involved um hey -ho. um i hope that people are are sensible enough to, to to know that um and to know the risk that they're putting themselves at and they're putting other people at more so although the leader from the world health organization was saying that young people are not immune there's still a death rate for people under uh, under 25 I think and half the half of the people in hospital are under 60 um, in Italy I believe um, who have had another surge in deaths as well but anyway enough of that um, I'm going to keep this one relatively short because I, there are things that I want to do um, but yes international day of happiness if you haven't touched my face again um, and you need support on your emotions and on your values and on your commitments and why we're doing certain things uh, the book the Happiness Trap um, is a brilliant book. I read it a couple of, uh, must have been about a year ago now. Um, really good. They do have an app on Android and on uh, the App Store. They are releasing the subscription version of it for free for three months. If you use the code TOGETHER, if you look on my Helligen Dive Facebook page, you will see the links to that. And you will understand reading that book just how much emphasis is put on this wonderful happy life that we're all supposed to have um, when actually there is no mood or emotion that's hierarchical they all exist for their for their purpose inside out is probably a good little film to watch actually and um, we're looking at our emotions now they mold together so that's your homework um, read the happiness trap download the happiness trap app if it's your bag and watch uh, inside out sounds like a great idea um, I will leave you to it now. Um, if you do have any questions, any thoughts, anything that I've said that you think, oh, I don't fully understand that, or I'd like you to expand on that a little bit more, then by all means, please do get in touch. Um, I do love hearing from you. It was really nice yesterday to get some questions afterwards. It makes things um, uh, a, bit more, a bit more real. And we're in this for the long haul. We know that. We knew that yesterday with them saying 12 weeks. Um, we now know that it's going to be there's going to be less, even less options of getting out and about. So let's make the most of the resources that we have. Um, get to water if you can. Get to green spaces where you can. The trees are budding. The spring is coming. Um, and let's make the most of, of getting out and about. Um, Mother's Day on Sunday, because I don't know if I'll do videos over the weekend. Um, but Mother's Day is on Sunday please think long and hard about what you're going to do for Mothering Sunday. Don't put your family at risk for the sake of delivering cards and flowers. Um, you might put them into a real sad, sorry state of affairs. So just be aware of that. I think that the Prime Minister put his foot in it a little bit by saying, I hope I get to see her. Um, but he's been in a room full of journalists and I do worry, particularly with the density in London, as to what damage he might do to his um, to his older parents. So yes, enjoy your Friday. I know that DJ Jorez um, has got a Facebook Live where he's doing a DJ set. I know that, um, oh, in fact, yeah, I might start compiling this actually. Um, so DJ Jorez on Facebook, he's doing a DJ set. I'm not into mm, 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 music, but if that's your value, you can go and do that. I know that the sofa sessions, I think that's what they call them themselves, um, go to Tinshed Theatre Company. Um, they've got different things happening at three times during the evening. Um, shiny Happy People, I saw them earlier. They like a, I only watched a little bit of it, but it was like extreme dancing for the kids to try and tire them out. Um, who else is doing what? I know that the, what's he called? Joe, Joe Wicks, he's doing PE lessons um, every day. There's so much happening. 
on the online space at the moment that uh, that you can all get involved in. So I'll try and link them actually to see see which ones that, that I've seen, which ones are, are looking good and might be helpful during these next couple of weeks. But otherwise, stay safe, stay clean, stay distant, but stay in contact. You're extraordinary. Bye. How do I quit these things? <laughs>